everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive. Did you miss me? It was like 24 hours since I had last made a video, I think, or maybe even 48, so it's basically been a lifetime in the world of Dominion Jurassic World Alive, or post-Dominion, I should say, because now they have made a new update into the game. So, you know, before it was like, oh, well, you can kind of get Giga but not really. You could kind of get Rexy, but not really. Now that, you know, Dominion's being released all over the world, if I'm going blurry there, sorry, there, there we go, being released all over the world, except for where I am, which is lovely. <laughs> but I can still kind of celebrate with all of the, uh, the stuff that's being put in the map. So we've got like a new supply drop, aesthetic but we've got so much to do so much to look over i'm really excited um because now we can actually dart giga and i think actually i've just moved a little bit away oh no i haven't okay so the event that's happening right now is you can dart you have three things you can dart a giga you can dart t-rex or you can dart blue um and really i think you're probably gonna want to dart giga because I don't know of any particular uh, place. Oh, God, that was horrendous. That makes up for the direct hits, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. I was like, I'm doing too good here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Giga too close to me. So this is as close as, um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm ever really going to get to getting a Giga. Because uh, I can't really go out and uh, be able to dart things. Um, so oh, there's a deer hiding over there. You've also got these on the... Um, on the screen now so i want to double check something because not only do they give you coin but they also give you a dominion incubator so we are gonna have to set one off just in case uh we you know with the t-rex gen 2 it's not wasted uh we also have a therizinosaurus to unlock as well as we can you know see it's eating animations and attack animations and stuff um so interestingly enough you know D dominion's been released or it's, it's in the process of sort of uh, being released worldwide worldwide but we don't have a couple of dinosaurs or especially one uh, in any of the jurassic uh, media and that is a trosseraptor it is not being released for jurassic world evolution 2 it is not being released in jurassic world alive or the game so where's why is that happening i don't know <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, look at it. We've got a cute little antler down here. Um, so we have unlocked everything, but we, I mean, they're going hard. Jurassic World Alive, for the longest time, would only put in um, a coin trade for books. Probably like, or at least I remember seeing a forum post or something about it because everyone already the Facebook group or something. Everyone talking about oh, when they're going to do this because I've saved up loads of books and I want to trade for coin. Um, and it was literally like, once a year if that maybe twice a year that they would um allow you to trade uh coins like like that much like 40 percent extra coin maybe there was probably a little bit more i'm not too sure but now not only have they put this in they also put in the stat boost and as you can see i bought all of them except for the health because i've got loads of health um they've also put in 40% off of, you know, you want to trade real money for books. And not only that, you've got uh, trading books for the uh, specific Dominion incubators. And not only that, I know it keeps on going, but I've already bought the, um, I think it was a T-Rex incubator that gave you the Rex, it gave you guaranteed 200 Rex DNA, because that's what we're doing now. That's what the game is. It's just like, give us money if you want the best dinosaur. Sweet. I love the way it's going. Anyway, but you've also got like loads of choices. You've got like a Morton Rex there because of course the skin. You've got this. You've got the new uh, Capra Sujisakasuka's freaking Apex. You've got oh, like so many friggin... And also this as well. Um, so this is the Giganotosaurus scent, which guarantees you a Giga. 100% you will get a Giga and you can buy three of these, I think it is. Um, I'll just have a double check. Did we get Raptor? Yeah, we did get Raptor. That's a bugger. So I was saving this. Also, hold on, we'll have a look. So this is new as well on the map. You've got the Biosyn building as part of the uh, the decoration for the underneath. I can't really get too close to any of them without just having to click on one. So it is just that one. But that's a really nice touch. I was thinking that they would put it for all of them because it's Jurassic World Dominion Strike, right? And you've got this one, which is a Giganotosaurus Strike, which, of course, Giga is in the movie. So I thought that this would also have it, but it doesn't. Um, but you know what? We will do this because it is a level 30 giga. Um, I'm gonna have to try and take this a little seriously just in case because you probably only get like two tries of this. Megal- it's- it's weird. It's a Giganotosaurus battle scent, right? But 
we're facing off against a Giga, which of course makes sense. And there it is. People, some people have said that this Mortem Rex is probably like the, their least favorite of the two skins. Like the regular Mortem Rex skin looks better. And after, you know, sort of seeing it, I I kind of agree. I do agree that the um, the OG skin is way better um than this albino skin i think what would have made this skin a lot better is if the you know because you got the black on the red sort of look how about if for this one what you did was make this the white on the blue like give i mean there is a little bit of like blue shimmer on the top of the spikes but it's mainly freaking gray and white <laughs> so that that would have been nice so we're, we're going to get Therizone Source. I need to interact with a couple of things as well. Uh, we also have got Giga to... Well, we should be able to get Giga to level 20. Which means that we can start fusing for the new hybrid. Which is the Giga... Um, what is it? It's like a Giga Tyranno Spinix? Spinix something, I think it is. Uh, but we'll, I mean, we'll have a look. I don't know how much Giga we get for this. Probably like 200. I think 200 is like... Oh, look at it there. Isn't it beautiful? So we get the fiery dominion thing. We're like a gigantic player or gigantic player. Yes. And here is it 200? It is 200. Okay. Well, it's nothing too crazy, but you never know. We might get more here. Uh, Delta Echo. Okay. Oh, we've got... Oh, if we get Rexy DNA, that would be amazing. What's this? Uh, carbon Emmys. I'll take it. I don't have too much of that. Is it Rexy? Oh, imagine. <laughs> that would have been... Oh, and a Pseudoceratops. Brilliant. Yes. So not only this, we've also got an event going on at the moment that um, I've been doing pretty well in. 100% to the fact that I have Rexy. And, you know, so much Rexy DNA that I've got it to level 22, I think it is. And I've also put boosts on it. And pretty much, if I get Rexy in the loadout for this skill tournament, I've won. And, like, in a way, I'm not gonna lie, it feels good. Because so many times I do these skill tournaments, and I think the majority of the player base can attest to this and uh, relate to it, that when you do a skill tournament, or you just want the takedowns, and you just it just takes so long... You don't care about winning because you know you won't win. It's just like, oh, freaking just give me the tents, please. But for the first time ever, because of a broken dinosaur in the game, don't worry, I read the comments. Everyone's saying that, you know, oh, beavers, you complain about paratops. And yet here you are, um, you know, with the most broken dinosaur in the game. Uh, and to be fair, I 100% I agree with you. But right now, uh, this level I've got Rexy at, it's, it's one shot by a lot of things. So it's not too broken. I mean, it's good against some things, but at level 30, yes, 100%. It will be broken. Uh, also, we've got a Guanodon in, in the scent as well, in the Dominion scent, which, I mean, like I said, I haven't seen Dominion just yet, but uh, a Guanodon? Really? Is, is that going to be in the movie? Oh, God, don't know. The reviews have been crazy. You've got, like, critics lambasting it. you got fans lambasting the critics for lambasting the movie. Just make your own opinion. Like, if a critic doesn't like it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it shouldn't affect you. Are you really influenced by what other people think that much? Shouldn't really be. If you are, probably rethink why you are. <laughs> if I say something's bad, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that either you attack me for thinking it's bad, or you defend it because I think it's bad. How about you just be like, okay, that's his opinion, and I'm, you know, just be, just because he has an opinion that's either opposite to me, it does not make, it does not invalidate my opinion. Either way, anyway, so I'll quickly collect this, and hey, ho, oh, who knows, maybe I will actually get to day 28 and collect that, God knows. Anyway, so we got these, which are little Dominion lunch boxes, like the coin chase, uh, so I think I, I'm pretty golden for this, I think I've got three right next to me, uh, and if I wanted to... I could, you know, if I want to spend all day on this, I probably could. Oh, there's a freaking Allosaurus in the way of this one. No! You bugger you! Do I have to dart you? I don't <laughs> no, I don't. Protecting it. Uh, oh, there we go. There's a thousand. And there's the Dominion Sun. That's why I just want to set this off because I didn't want to, you know, overlap it. So we'll just collect this. Is it going to be... Oh, it is. Okay, so hold on. Let me just check this. Ooh, we'll donate a little Yay! bit here. So I think Therizinosaurus is in here. Yes, it is. So here is the Therizinosaurus. So now that, you know, I, I can actually talk about it, we I have played the uh, Jurassic World Evolution DLC, which includes Therizinosaurus. Now looking at this one in comparison to it, 
for some odd reason, he's got a really flat head. I don't know what it is about it, but it just feels like... Some... You might also realize I have 50 odd um, uh, of these. And I think that was part of the, the Rexy thing. So really, if I really like something, I can just keep on doing this. Or if I want to level up, I don't want this many foods and feeds and things. But hey-ho, it is where we are. Uh, also, hopefully there should be a level three. Yes! What I should do is just loads of this. Uh, now, I've tried to figure out what gives the most experience and why it gives the most experience. Because I've fed multiple level 30 things, and yet I, they give different DNA. So that was like 107, right? I feed this... And what does it give me? 146! And I can only imagine it's... You have to have that dinosaur a higher level as well. Because you can see I got level 20 Octo, whatever this thing is, Octops. But I only have a level 15 Compi. Even though Octops here is level 28, it's lower, but it gives me more. And I'm thinking that maybe I'm slow to the, the, the get-go when it comes to this. But I think... That's what what the, what the issue is there. Okay, so I won't collect that thing. It doesn't matter. All right, so we'll also collect some of this as well because I've got a fair few incubators to get through. Before we unlock the Therizinosaurus, I don't think it has a hybrid. I could be wrong. I want to do a little bit of the skill tournament just to show you just how broken the Rex is when I, you know, I actually managed to get it. Also, 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 Want to level up Rexy because we've got it up to, I think, level 23 now, which means we can also put more uh, of a boost on it. So here it is. There is an Asaurus, the Biosyn there is an Asaurus. Um, I think I, I mentioned about how maybe Ludia had talks with uh, Universal about this, about, you know, there is an Asaurus and Giga coming to the game. That's why they didn't put it in. But they put it in Power Raptor because even then it didn't look the same. But ah. Um, but I'm, I'm really not too sure. Cunning, ferocious, a strike. That's a new thing, I think. Minimal and delayed precise rampage because it's delayed. So if you're threatened, you do less damage. Right, okay. Jesus. Uh, the three razor sharp claws on each of this, <laughs> of this herbivore's forelimbs measure a whopping three feet. The longest of any known animal. Ooh. Also, actually, saying this, Giganotosaurus measures approximately 43 feet in length and can reach speeds of up to 30 miles per hour. What was T Rex? 32 miles an hour. Also, yeah, this has been Begin Your Dominion. I don't know if everyone else has got this. I got an email. Oh. <laughs> Please tell me that wasn't wasted. Oh, okay, it wasn't. Oh, thank God. Right, okay, we do have three. Okay, what, what else was there? Oh. 200 blue. Oh, okay. I think one was books or something. Oh, no. Is it Giga? Oh, it's Rexy. Oh, okay. So you... Oh, there's more. Jesus. Oh, what? That didn't give me anything in this one. That also didn't give me anything. So you gave me blue. You gave me Rexy. But you didn't give me Giga. <laughs> okay. But what I wanted to do... I have 17,000 books at the moment. And you have all these Dominion incubators. There is one for 5,000. We're going to have a look at the 15,000 one. It only gives you 100... And chances are, you're probably gonna get something you've already you've already got, like Max, like Trico, Scorpius, Intertaurus, Thor. You know, out of six of them, four you've probably already got maxed up. Giganix um, is probably the only two that you haven't got maxed up. Uh, and to be fair, if you if you have played this game as long as I have, and you are pro MLG, you probably have Paratops already maxed up. So really. You've only got 16.67% chance of getting the Giga uh, hybrid. So there's no point doing that. However, in this one, same percentage chance, but you've got the new Listro hybrid or Listrosaurus hybrid. You've got a Ramphorhynchus, which is Dreadactylus hybrid, which is quite rare. You've got Trico or Tristonix, which you've probably got maxed or at least enough DNA. You've got the Parasaur Lux, which, you know, you might want. The Rexy, which you definitely want. And the um, Ankylosaur Lux hybrid, you know, ingredient. So out of those, out of six, there's only one that you don't really want. And it gives you 200. So there's a chance, and I think you can get five of these. 2,500 or 25,000, I should say. 25,000 bucks that you could spend, but... You could also get a thousand Rexy DNA. So we're going to buy three of them because if there's a chance of getting Rexy DNA, I kind of want to do that. This game has shown me now that Rexy is 100% a pay to win dinosaur. Go on then. Go on then. Give it. Give it. Come on, Rexy. Go on. What's it going to be? Oh, it's, there's coin as well. Okay, but come on, Rexy. No, it's not bad. That's not bad. I'll happily take that. I think the only one that I'm not fussed about is the Trico or Tristornix. 
So we'll do another one. It's possible you could get a thousand rex. You're probably not going to get it. Um, you do get some coin, which I guess is, is some relief. Ah. <laughs> That's the complete opposite of what I was wanting. Okay, so the final one that we can do, anyway, for now, I don't want to spend any more money. God damn it. Just give me, I would love Rex. Come on, I've spent like 15,000. Uh, wow, okay, they're all even chances, and I got two ankle and luck. You could call it lucky. Or unlucky, depending on your point of view. I would say that's probably unlucky for me. And I was mentioning about the hybrid I was working towards. Now there's two. Because in the skill tournament, I faced up against this thing, and it was killer. And I don't even know what it's called, but they had a max attack. I mean, it killed me, and it was very good. This thing, the Mega Stikorus, whatever that is. 50% armor, so it's not bad. 115 speed, so a decent speed. Um, and it's attack, I mean, it's level 20. So level 30, maybe 2,000 attack. Possibly. I don't know. Don't know exactly how it works. But it has group shield, I guess, resilient defensive rendering. But really what you want is the no escape and the swap in shattering strike. So it goes through armor, breaks through shields. So this thing is a counter to Anglo Solox and also a counter to anything that is going to swap out sort of thing. So you can swap in, stop them from swapping out, and then also attack. Most things have a resistance to swap out, though. But it also has... Like, look at these resistances, for God's sake. Stun, it's, I mean, really, you'd want higher, but 50% is still a good chance to resist that. Um, it reduces some uh, damage. It very highly reduces uh, speed and a vulnerability as well. And this guy had it level 30, had it max attack, it was killer. So I am working slowly towards this. Um, I think I'm like a, yeah, I'm a tiny bit of 100. We'll do another pop for it. I'm just seeing how much DNA I can get. And then I'll calculate like if I was to level it up, how far I could get it. Um, luckily, I am now in a place that Deodocorus does spawn. Um, but it's hyena. It's the hyena one that I'm not too confident whether I need. This isn't the hybrid I was talking about last time I made a video though. There was another one. Um, because I think I've got that one a little bit higher, actually. It is the Compi Gen 2 hybrid, so I think it should be. Yeah, it should be up here somewhere. There is le level 26, this thing. Because, I mean, what you want is a speed increase for this. Because hidden, hidden in these attacks is this alert shattering impact. Because if it's threatened, you know, not only does it reduce attack, it goes through block, it goes through armor, shields, whatever. But it also heals itself. Pretty decent. And also, when you swap in, you heal. And when an opponent swaps out, you do an armor-piercing attack. So unless you're, I think even if your Ankylosaur looks threatened, you're still going to take a big chunk of damage from this. So, I don't know, man. I, I think this thing's slept on. Uh, oh, that was... That was probably one of the worst fuses I think I could have ever gotten. <laughs> it was like 10 to 10, 20, 20. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's it. So we got 80 and we got double that time. Just shows how random these uh, these fuses can really be. So I'm working on something like towards there, something like that. I kind of, I'd love to have those two in my team. I, I kind of like my team though. They all kind of do their th thing kind of well. I mean, Utaranex is... Probably the only one that I'm not too confident with. I, even the Gorgo, sometimes it performs really well. Other times it's like just instantly killed without just one hit and that's it. But friggin' Rexy, we can get to level 24. Just give it a little tiny bit more health. Not much, but it is something. Really, we just need to get out of this 5,000 health, like four to 5,000 health territory. That's the danger zone. That's when you can't put it in instantly because if something's got a counter and then there's a big hit, you're dead. And also, if it's a full Rex, for instance, it's going to go for instant rampage and kill you. So, you know, it's, 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 I mean, full Rex is definitely the, the thing I've got to be wary of. I could, I suppose, really just try and put on more health. But honestly, a max attack Rexy with just that 130 speed, giving it 163, I think, when it does its priority move and then it just devouring. Oh, it's just nasty. It really is. And maybe I actually don't need it too high a level when it comes to attack because of its, you know, increase in attack. Um, but it, it's, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't mind. You know, if I have to, like, take a few boosts off, maybe one or two, I'm okay with that. But if I have to take off 12, then I'm waiting for these boosts. And I get the removal tokens. And again, these removal tokens just have not appeared anywhere. I don't know where they are. 
But Lydia's like, mm, we gave you guys like a, a once. That's all you want. You just want one, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have a look and do some of the skill tournament. Hopefully get Rex in. I'll just show you what I mean by how broken it is. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is a nice team. Oh, this is a nice team. <laughs> We've got like a boost compies. Booster Rexy. I I mean, we just won the last game and he had a Rexy, but he only boosted it to 108 speed and that was it. It was level 23 as well. Ooh, is it risky to open with Compi? I'll give it a shot. Okay, so he's got a T-Rex. Uh, so this is a this is pretty much a win for me. Uh, taking on the Rexy with 142 speed. Oh, he switches. Interesting. Well, you can't get away, Rexy. <laughs> Shows how little time you face up against Compi. You wasted your goose, mate, and you've got no attack left. <laughs> but that's like a max speed T-Rex. You know what? Hats off. Hats off to him for trying something different. It, it isn't working, but you know what? A max speed T-Rex, I can respect it. I can respect that. Maybe he uses it in his team, and there it is. And now we can pretty much just go for the alert, and we're 1-0 up. Uh, we are missing our alert scurry, but we are possibly able to still swap out. I don't know if we have resistance. We have 50% chance to resist it. Okay. If he brings in something that uh, can stop us from swapping out, but... Oh. What? What? Level 30 practice. Max health. What is going on? <laughs> I've never seen this before. Whoa. This is crazy. What is... This is the weirdest team I've ever... Um, is, is this a bot? It can't be a bot. Is it a bot? I was thinking actually of going for shield just in case. But... Oh, my company's going to do this single-handed. Yeah, we're going to get the um, rally back before anything. Um, I'm just wondering, do we lose to speed? Oh, we can. So we can do it. But there you go. Finally. Should have done that first, knowing that I was going to do something similar. Or even go for the hopper mark. Um, you can do that again and do more damage. And then what I'll do is I'll go for my rally. Uh, oh. What, what's it doing? It doesn't matter whether you put a shield up. What matters is you kill me. Because <laughs> now we can just do this. And then I've got my third one back. And then you'll do a hit and only do like that much damage. This is... This is... You know what? I'm glad I'm recording. This is the weirdest team matchup. I mean, 10,000 health and brachiosaurus. I kind of just want to swap out for the lulls. Um, but, I mean, I I'll swap into this thing. You know, we, we these two. The compy... And this combi can continuously swap in together and heal each other. I mean, they can't because, of course, you get locked in. But in theory, you could as long as you survive long enough. So that's that. Now, the thing is, with this compi hybrid, unlike the regular Comstock Natus, I can't get a rally off right this second. Um, because I need to be below 50% health. And losing one of my compies doesn't mean that I'm below 50% health. So here it is. So now I can go for it. And he hasn't slowed me down. Which is interesting, because I thought Brachiosaur did have a move to slow you down. But it doesn't. There we go. That's a lot of damage. I haven't even boosted this thing. Jeez. What's the crit chance on this? 30%! Oh! <laughs> Some of these legendaries, man. They are redonkulously good. Um, so now what I could do is just swap in a compy. Get off a rally heal. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is horrible for him. If, if this isn't a bot, this is horrible. I haven't even used Rexy. I mean, there we go. Finally. just You should have just kept on doing that. You didn't need to shield. It didn't make any difference. I mean, I'm still going to heal. But, um, but <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. He got lucky with the wrist. Oh, he has his own Tarbo ones. And they aren't boosted. Okay, but they are level 26. Nice. Interesting. Okay, so he this guy knows. This I mean, to boost it to level 26, he knows these things are good. Um, now, I don't mind if he kills my compies here. He probably won't. Although saying that he... Oh, I don't know. It's, it's going to be interesting. We just got like loads of squawks going on now. So we killed one, and he should kill one of ours now, which is great. Oh, I mean, I am level 28, and I am... Oh, we didn't even... Oh... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there it is. The alert surge. That's good. Does he get a dodge when he does that? No, he doesn't. The... I, I, I do not understand the icons. If it looks like it gives dodge. Oh, he has to be. Uh, okay, there we go. <laughs> he has to be below. And he doesn't have a... He does have party, so he might as well do it and get a dodge off. 
Um, this guy's really thinking about this now. Has he rage quit? Yeah, he rage quit. <laughs> I think he has. Unless he's like, I know I've lost and I'm just going to make sure he wastes as much time as possible. Um, so I think he's guaranteed. I think, right? No! Okay! Here's me wanting to showcase just how OP Rexy is. I haven't even needed to use it yet. <laughs> this is like, how OP the two copies are. But then again, we're facing against a level 30 T-Rex and a level 30 Brachiosaur. And there it is. Um, a 3-0 victory, but I, it didn't feel like a real win there. It, uh, that was, I mean, a level 30 Brachiosaur and T-Rex. Uh, max health and max speed. <laughs> hey, okay, nice. We don't have the Compi Hybrid or the Compi. And everything else here is not boosted except for Rexy. This this should be a good showcase of just how good Rexy is. And here we go. Okay, so he's also got something that's not, you know, that well boosted or even boosted at all. It is level 21, though, which raises the question, why? <laughs> like, are you not wanting to save that DNA for the Anglosaur look? So you just just going for... Oh, we're swapping out. We, we made it. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, no, this, no, no, you hate this, no, oh, no, I don't, this isn't good, this is, no. I, I feel like I could comfortably switch in Rexy now. Uh, I mean, boy, he's got Crushing Prowl. Uh, he, the max damage you can do is 1,600, and I'm going to start healing. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's just decimate with Rexy. I think I could decimate with my team anyway, judging by level 18 and level 21. Legendary. Um, I'm going to slow him. Is he immune to it? He's immune to it. Well, good on you. <laughs> Is that a bleed? Oh, no. That's a bleed. Oh, I resist it. Yeah. I forget how OP Rexy is. Ah, yes. That's why we, that's why we boost him. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, this is my revenge for all the Paratops level. I mean, I still face against the Paratops. And I faced against somebody who did the worst. It was like, switch in, do loads of damage. And then, like, instant heal, swap out. And I was just, I, I'm so glad that I've got this emote. Like, the rolling eye one. It's so perfect for, like, Paratops. Like, uh-huh, mm -hmm, yeah, I wonder what you're going to do next. Swap out. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, actually, does this one even hit them both? I hit them all? I don't think this one does. <gasps> I think I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. Oh, evasive cunning impact. Okay, reducing my damage. You can do that. I don't think you can reduce my speed, though. Um, oh, no crit chance. Oh, remove me. Attack boost. Perfect. Nice one. That was fairly decent. Um, now, how much damage? Can I mean, he's only... Ooh, 1,700. Oh, he could... Oh, hmm. It's not... Uh, yeah, I think Rex is going to die here if I don't switch out. So I may as well switch out. I'll, 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 yeah, yeah, I'll save Rexy. Rexy's very good. Low tide, you can get, I mean, is that an attack or is that just evasive? Probably just evasive. I'll happily take that. That's fine. And with the, this guy, the Procerato, Procerathomimus, I can just swap in and nullify everything anyway. <laughs> and then when he attacks me, whatever boost he got, uh, if he does get any, I think he just slows me down, actually. Um, yeah, doesn't doesn't do much. So, all right, okay, we nullify, doesn't make a difference. I just wanted to save Rexy, because I think the the superiority raw thing um, goes through loads. So, I don't think even this one killed once. <laughs> it doesn't make much of a difference. Here, we're going to do like eight damage. Yeah, 27 damage. Let's do even more, unless he has a priority, which is probably side flat. Oh, no, it's evasive cunning impact. Ah, he's killed me. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, I don't think... I'm, I'm not worried. I'm still not worried at the moment. Oh, he got a dodge for that. He got a dodge for that. <laughs> fine. Fine, fine. Okay. Oh, wait. No, the dodge is gone now. Thanks, game. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> right, it's immune to that. We may as well just do two nullifyings. Um, I don't think... Yeah, he's going to kill me here. He does reduce my speed. He's faster anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. There's a nullifying. Does he have any way to heal? I don't think he does. There's the party 1,200 or 1,700. Either way, I think he's just used that 1,700. So he's not going to kill me. And oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, are we, are we, are we, are we just throwing the game? Are we, like, what, what? <laughs> What's going on? I could have, actually, for the first time, Rexy, 
did face up against a good match, uh, even at level 19. So what do you, uh, well, like, like, what? That's, I, I don't, I don't understand what you did here. I, I don't, I mean, yeah, you reduced my attack, I suppose, so you still don't survive? <laughs> okay, well, that was not a good show of Rexy. Well, uh, you know what? We'll skip to one that I get a good show of Rexy, just to show, because I want to show you, it is OP. It's not just, you know, me playing at crap there. <laughs> oh, God, it just snapped me out of my coma there. <laughs> oh, Rexy again. Yay. Oh, an Alloraptor. Okay. Level 30. Ooh, interesting. Not, 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 not a good matchup. Even put speed boosts on it and everything. But I don't think it has something that hits everybody in there, which is going to be a little bit of a bugger for him. Oh, did he get lucky there? He, he might have got lucky there that he went through uh, or it didn't uh, affect him. Did it? Oh, no, 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 you didn't get lucky. My bad. I was thinking, oh, did I get evasive? But no, I just reduced his attack. Oh, here it comes in the big hit and it doesn't do too much. Okay, fair enough. Uh, why does it say that he's quicker and I'm quicker? I want a quick. Who's the quickest of them all? <laughs> he's immune. Oh, okay. So he's, he's definitely saving that. Ooh, the Ankylodocaris. Is it, uh, has it got any hit back? No, it doesn't have any passive. Interesting. Okay. What's the best point? It does have a big hit with 1,800. I think my best bet is to just have Rexy just in. So if I swap it in, it's not the best scenarios, I don't think, because I'm leaving myself open. Uh, oh, oh, that's unfortunate that he doesn't kill me in that. Ah, that is bug. But he probably will constantly slow me down now. He'll just go for superiority of vulnerability, which is great. Um... So this actually is giving, you know, I'm going to lose my compi here if I really want to. I guess I could try and keep it alive, but I, I think this is perfect for me because now it's going to allow me to set up with Rexy because I don't think Alloraptor has any priority moves. So here we go. We lost compi. My only other boosted creature on this team. But now we go Rexy and we just go for the superiority, raw and speed and... Now I'm quite interested to see what could take me out. Like, what on his team he's got. There's one in love, he's got three other creatures. One's almost dead, the Alloraptors. He's got two other ones. What could he try and do? Because in a way, it's how you play Rexy, but at the same time, it's it's just like playing with a handicap. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be quicker than me. He does have an evasive uh, one that he could go for. And in fact, I might be tempted. I could go for that. He's probably... Oh, he's not. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, it's dead. Oh, okay. He didn't even go for his... Uh, oh, he didn't even manage. Oh, no, it did. I'm all... Of, I've done like six games in a row at this point. Um, so now he knows... I mean, what's he going to go for right off the bat? Uh, he can go for 4,100 damage with a 30% chance to crit. Should I... You know what? If he gets it, he gets it. I'll allow him. It's it's a Rexy. He doesn't get it. That's a... Sh <laughs> that, that's a bugger for him. Well, I mean... He could have went for his superiority and done some damage to me. And then when it came to the Alloraptor, it would have killed me. Like if I hadn't swapped out, it would have killed me there. So he probably should have went for the instant, just hit and done some damage. But I mean, there it is. It, like we have Rexy level 24. Uh, we still, if we want to, if I want to get 10,000 bucks, I could try and get possibly 400, but it's probably going to be zero if we're going to be honest. But yeah, it's it's loads of fun. They're allowing you know to, you to dart Giga. They've put some cool incubators out there for you to get, as well as like the coin chase thing with the and um and Dominus with the Domin Dominion. That's it, <laughs> Dominion incubator. So there's a lot to do whether you want to pay for things or not. Um, and also Rexy's kind of still it's it's broken when it gets to level 30. I mean even at level 24 with boosts on it. I mean, you can see what it did there. That was a skill tournament in the real game. It's a little bit different. It's not It's not up to snuff at the moment. But in this DNA tournament, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty OP. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. <laughs>